Hi everyone, Jessica here. Today we've got a demo for you featuring a boost converter. So for our setup, we've got a voltage source, we've got an oscilloscope to take a look at some waveforms, and we've got our boost converter. Now a boost converter contains an inductor between the source and the switch and diode pair, which we've got right here, and then those are being fed into a resistive load. Now to take a look at some waveforms, we've got a probe on here for our input voltage, we're also going to add a probe for our switch node right here. And then we'll add another one for our output voltage, which will probe right here. And then finally, we're also going to add a current probe to take a look at the inductor current. Put that in there. All right, so to get started, I'm going to slowly increase our input voltage. And we're going to see that when we approach 12 volts, we're going to start to get some switching on here. That 12 volt is going to power our control circuitry that allows us to start switching. Now, one thing, um, if we take a look at these waveforms, the first thing we notice is that we're in periodic steady state. Um, so these waveforms, yellow is showing us our input voltage, the purple is showing us our output voltage, the blue is showing us the switch node uh, between the switch and diode, and the green is showing us our inductor current. And so you see a bit of ripple on that inductor, but again, we're in periodic steady state. Now, as you can tell, our input, so our input's about 13 volts, um, is not that much different than our output. We're at a pretty low duty cycle right here. Um, so the amount of time that the switch is on down here uh, correlates with our duty cycle, and it's, pretty, it's a pretty small fraction compared to the whole period. So we've got a potentiometer on this board. It's going to allow us to gradually change that duty cycle. And when that happens, we see this purple waveform, our output voltage, start to increase quite a bit. You see there's a lot more ripple then on our inductor. So this demonstrates then how just a change in duty cycle, you see the switches on for a much greater portion of the cycle, affects then the output voltage. And that's exactly what we would expect to see in a boost converter here. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.